Hi, Shiva Rajaya here from vitalcoaching.com. The topic for this video is daily or weekly check-ins. We are talking about coupling dynamics and here is a topic or something that uh, many couples are not going to do. I would say that probably most couple don't, couples don't apply this in their relationship. And it is the idea to have a conscious, really regular, periodical check-in. And the check-in is like that. You set up a timer, you set up five minutes, ten minutes, or whatever time you need. Sometimes you're going to do it without a timer, but the timer really gives you a certain structure. You go like, okay, the question is going to be to your partner is what is alive in you right now? So what I enjoy really doing personally is having a daily check-in when we have breakfast. So what we do is like we set up the timer and then uh, for five minutes, we are going, I'm going to voice what is alive in me. Whatever, what has been happening in my life over the last day or last few days. What is in the day? What is coming up in the next, uh, next few days? Or anything important that, that might help my partner or my lover or my girlfriend relate to me from a place where she understands better where I'm at. So these daily check-ins are super important to create connection because sometimes, um, you know, you might wake up in the morning and your partner seems to be in a state of processing something. And then you start building up a story around it. You go like, oh, it's probably something that I said yesterday, maybe, or she's worried about that. And so you, st you start making up a story. And that story creates an, a, a shift in the way you're going to relate to your partner. And eventually that's, that shift uh, creates a shift in her. And eventually the whole thing can, can become this snowball effect where suddenly there is something in your relationship. There might be a tension there building up that has absolutely no ground. And so doing the check-in is like just checking in. Hey, what's going on? What's alive in you today? And so in the process of doing that, what you're going to do is have this window of understanding and awareness and clarity over what's happening in your partner's energy, in their emotions, in their, in their field. You know, sometimes, again, you see them worried about something and you're like, what's going on? So what having a daily check-in does is that it gives you a container, a safe container, where there is regularity. So the fact that there is this rhythm, the fact that there is every day, you know that at 7, p, 7 uh, a.m. in the morning or 8 a.m. or in the evening, every time you come back home, there's going to be a 15 minute window where you have time to share. So what this does is that it gives you a sense of security. It gives you a sense where you know that you are allowed at that moment to voice what is alive for you. And sometimes what is alive for you might be, I feel really sad that you are taking off on a trip again with your friends. You know, that might be something that is real. But what's going to happen is that because you have this safe container that is established and that is agreed, then what happens in this container is that you have a space to voice instead of keeping things inside. And so you have an agreement that it's okay to express and voice your truth. So this can radically, completely change the dynamics of your relationship when you start establishing it. The way I really love doing it is that you set up the timer five minutes each. If you need more than five minutes, you reset, you do another five minutes. Sometimes it's going to be five minutes you, five minutes them, five minutes you, you know, and so on. And doing a few rounds, it, you might end up being in a sharing for an hour. Sometimes it's going to be a 10 minutes sharing. You can set up the timer for a different, different time. But basically this, this is the idea, is that you create a structure, you create a protocol to share in a healthy and vibrant way. So what's very important as well is that when one of you is sharing, the other person is not interrupting. This, there is no talking over, there is no cross-talking, there is no reflection straight away. You allow the person to voice. This is not an argument, this is not a dialogue, it's not a conversation, it's a safe space to share. And so something that works as well is that once you are done sharing and your partner is done sharing, you can open the space for one minute reflections. The reflections, again, they are not a dialogue. They are not a conversation. They are not like, again, entering into, you know, uh, maybe fight, maybe uh, um, 
yeah, rivalry or anything that might be happening there or reactive mode, the idea is still to, to create a safe space, but hey, I have a reflection on what you said earlier. Is it okay if I share it with you? And then you offer a reflection on that. And if there is, A, I have some advice for you on what you just shared. Is it okay if I offer you some advice? You see, the reason why I ask for permission is because it's going to create safety in the person, in, the, in your partner. Sometimes your partner is not open to receive feedback at that moment. They don't want to be fixed, especially for you if you are a man or if you are a woman. But if you are a man and your, your, your girlfriend or your wife is sharing something that is really vulnerable, the tendency is like to go and try to rescue her. But sometimes that's not what she wants. Sometimes all she wants is just to be sharing. So this is a vast, you know, this is a vast topic. It's something that is really profound in couples and the communication skills that you want to develop again. In that specific thing, it is to have a daily or weekly check-in. Sometimes the check-in is going to be every second day. Sometimes it's going to be once a week. Sometimes you have a daily check-in of just five minutes. And then the Saturday morning when you're both relaxed at home, then you go like, okay, let's have a longer check-in. Hey, what's the life for you this week? You know, what are the things that you really enjoyed this week? What are the things that are coming up? The plans, you know, and so on. So what happens there is that instead of being spontaneously sharing all the time, you know, oh, you have an idea, quickly message your, your, your boyfriend or your lover uh, or your girlfriend, you know, and then there is this ongoing chaotic communication. You're preparing some food, you're ready to go, and your partner wants to share something important for them. Now is not the right time. I'm not listening. I'm not being present because I, I have to rush. I have to, t to go to the subway and I'm not present here listening. And then you get frustrated because your partner is not listening. So the idea is to create these containers, these safety containers, uh, these protocols of communication that are going to secure uh, the relationship. And you might say, wow, you know, this feels a little bit uh, structured and rigid. I would say, Try it out. You will see the difference that it makes in, in the communication and the clarity of communication in your relationship. It's sometimes a long shot to establish it in your relationship because maybe your partner is not into it. But, you know, if it's something that you would like to explore and uh, you don't know how to access it or you don't know how to implement it in your relationship or in your life, message me, have a coaching session with me. I can coach you as a, as a couple or individually. I can show you exactly how to establish it and what are the pitfalls, what are the challenges, what, uh, what are the things that you need to do to uh, secure that uh, specific communication protocol in your relationship.